they were playing a course that I've been really excited about, but also slightly anxious because this course, it's a, uh, designed by Severiano Maestero, one of my personal golf heroes. If you're new to golf and you've never heard of Sevi, his nickname, I would highly recommend you to check out his stuff. Like he's uh, unfortunately no longer with us, but he was one of the, the greats in golf. But the course itself that he designed, it's known for being quite tricky. There's a lot of blind tee shots, like the one behind me, and a lot of undulation, a lot of rough terrain. It's very hilly, a stunning course, but it being my first time playing here, I'm not expecting to play, let's say my handicap, uh, probably lose a few of these as well. But, hey, we'll see how we get on. Enjoy. All right, middle fairway. Ball slightly below my feet. 210 left, I'm just gonna lay it up. Okay, not great, but it looked like he rolled back out. So I got 140 from the rough here. Slightly short. All right, so I'm just in front of the, uh, the green here, about 10 meters. Playing my 60, my lob wedge, and get it to run out a tiny bit to the flag. Overshot it, uh, not an easy lie to play from, so now we can putt. Bogey, bogey. 345 meters, but it goes down a lot. I guess we're going to have to look for it. All right, so we ended up just over here in front of the bunker and the flag is down there in the end. You can just see it. I'm going to have to play something over these trees here and try and land it on the green. The distance is around 115, 110 from there, I reckon. So if we can just get it over these trees, we should be all right. Hit it flush, but I had to take my 50 to get over it, so I didn't quite make it. Once again, left myself quite short, so I'm gonna play 50. Sort of run it up here, probably try and get it somewhere over there and run out to the flag. Alright, nice chip, but obviously played it too far to the right, so over there now with a bit of a length of cut. Less than I expected. Take this one. Another bogey. Not a great start. Sevi was kind of known for playing it into the rough, playing into the forest, and playing miraculous shots to get out of it. He probably is one of the players that would get bars or even birdies without ever seeing the fairway. So, uh, very, very talented. But um, I think he also enjoyed that part of the game. He kind of designed this course I think a bit with that in mind like there there's a lot of rough stuff you can end up in and uh, it's a fun course but it's definitely not an easy one so I, I waited a bit longer to play this one okay so once again not on the green again in the front gonna play with my 50 because I enjoy I've been really enjoying like to chip with this one but there's a chance out a bit further so uh, I'm just gonna try and put a tiny bit more spin on it so it grabs and stay somewhere around the flag here let's hope we can make a par I like that chip but it's just way too far perfect roll for distance just uh, not the right line. So bogey, bogey, bogey. Let's not try and think about the score. Oh, 
even though there was a white and a yellow marker there those were definitely the white tea boxes so i'm playing off yellow today the yellow teas are actually here a lot closer so i will hit another one just in case those two are uh, not to be found too high but it looks like it would have run probably along the fairway there so that one should be all right so i did lose those two first balls they probably would have ended up somewhere over there in the trees but hey um, i'm gonna play my original well my third shot which was actually from the correct tee box and it's uh ended up just there in front of the green i didn't actually realize that it, this was such a short hole uh, especially from those tee boxes tough pin though pin is really here in front so i'm gonna have to play it high with my 60 and try and just land it somewhere in front maybe spin it but let's see not much else what i could do there so land it probably a tiny bit too far rolled a bit but hey still par chances That's horrible. All right, so I'm not playing my best. Uh, I mean, four holes, four over. But I need to learn to just let go of the score and uh, and focus on golf. The course is really beautiful. It's well maintained. It's just lovely. I mean, look at the views all around. Yeah, it's not easy, but it's a fun course. So this is a short par three measured to about 100 meters so i'm gonna try and put it in the middle of the green and just uh get a good shot in all right back of the green tough green really tough green so let's try and get it close to the flag Quite happy with that result, I must say. Oh, looks like there's a bit of a weight here. Alright, so look at the next hole here behind me. Wow. The whiteies are actually here where I'm standing right now, and it just goes all the way down. This course is built up on a hill, and this is just one crazy tee shot, if you ask me. Beautiful views, but very steep going down. All right, so all the way down there, and then it shoots off to the right. I figured to just do the sensible thing and play a uh, five iron, try and keep it a bit lower and just shoot it down there. Um, there's a huge landing strip to uh, to get it onto. So as long as it's straight, it's got about 60 meters of run out. So uh, if I can land it somewhere over there, it should be good. All right, so I figured since you can't see my tee shot anyway, so I might as well place you guys in a different, a different angle, let's say. Get fat. All right, so it did roll down, but it got stuck here. Got a nice bounce to the right, so. This is what it looks like when you get around the corner. I understand what people say now why this course is so hard. There's a lot of undulation, very hilly. So the main difficult thing for me is just you never get the ball on the perfect sort of same line as your feet. It's always or above or below your feet. They're not my favorite kind of shots, but uh, it's a testing course, but you know, it's a beautiful course. It's a beautiful day. So uh, we're out here enjoying ourselves. But it's still in play. Alright, to the sheer luck, and thanks to this tree, we're still in the course and playable. Got a hard bounce.
That's Chris one. What? Right, I left myself in a tough spot because I have no visibility to the flag. The flag is roughly... So it's probably down there. Might be there. Might be a bit short, we'll see. Might be there. Uh, looks like we got a bit unlucky here. We didn't quite carry the green so we're just here in front yeah not sure how to play this one pretty happy with that result one handed one there we go this course is really testing me today this all the greens or sorry all the fairies are pretty narrow and you just don't see where they go. So uh, not hit the driver that much yet for that reason. Over the hill and beyond that, I don't know. It's a bit of a low fade, I didn't hit it fully. Um, kind of still a bit afraid, I guess, of what's behind there. That's perfect. So I played this one to perfection, or at least it's called my perfection. It's a really nice spot to be in. Oh, just roll up line there. Slightly above my feet, so I'm probably gonna pull it to the left. I'm gonna aim for the right side of the green. Okay, I didn't hit that perfectly, so it's a bit short, but uh, it's right in front of the green. The flag is uh, quite far in the end, so I'm gonna play a 50 and let it uh, roll up there. So Played that horribly and leaving it way short. Super happy with that distance, but uh, yeah, just rolled off line a bit. Uh, yeah. Those were the first nine. I think I'm gonna stop filming here because uh, yeah, I'm just playing horribly. First time on this course, so I can't really play myself too much, but I'm just also not playing great. Uh, I wanna focus a bit more on the game. Uh, the filming sometimes gets in the way of, of playing well. And uh, I've got people behind me, I've got a slow group in front of me, so it's sort of starting to uh, clash into each other a bit. I'll post my score at the end again. I think at the moment I'm probably seven over already on the first nine. That's not great. Yeah, hopefully we can score some decent score on the back. But again, scoring today, I just want to put that out of my mind. Don't think about it and just play well and enjoy the course. So that's what we're doing. I'll uh, film a few more shots left and right through the course. It is a beautiful course. It's a beautiful day as well. Facilities are great. The course is well maintained. The greens are pretty nice. So uh, yeah, I'm having a good day overall. It's not playing great. Right. See if we can change that now. And as I stop filming, I start playing.